Maduranga Tamao. A Tamao tree sweetened by Madhavi. Tamao tree was Madhavi niyotte amak natte. Madhavi wines sweeten the Tamao tree. The Madhavi tree tsurukusa wa Tamao no kyo amak suru. This black tree becomes sweetened. This Narayan, God, becomes sweetened and he forgets his opulence. <laughs> and he likes to exchange love. And this is the root cause why I'm taking the shelter of your root. Before I was very impersonal with you. I didn't want to be personal with you. You are God. And I want to give you my sin and get something from you. Because you are God. God gives, God takes. <laughs> Take my sin and give me something more, something better. But this is a business exchange. You became sweetened. You forget to give. You are taking the sweetness from Tamala tree. You forget yourself that you are an enjoyer. That you are taking. Now you start relishing when the sweetness is coming in your life. Mm. And now you feel fortunate. <coughs> you change your behavior. And when I took your shelter, this tree shelter, shelter of both of you, this sweetness will come into my life. Therefore, I want, I desire to be in your roots, in your lotus feet. <laughs> I want to feel and I want to live in your loving flavor. <laughs> um, um, so India, especially in Brindaban, there is a Tamar tree, and around the Tamar tree, there is Madabi wine. Govinda Mohini san, tsuyaku dekimasu de shou ka? Suimasen. Surprise. Kyo chotto Kishori san ga ima kekkonshiki no tetsudai shiteru nde, chotto. 
。私もちょっとダブルツイヤが。すいません。私ですかはい。はい。もしよかったら、ちょっと通訳していただけませんか<笑>あ、はい。あの、もし、あの、バックで設定していただけたら嬉しいんですけど、よろしいですかバックで。イエス。はい。そうします。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。<笑>そう、たまるトゥリー、and まだびワイン、they live together. <笑> so, this wine is need たまるトゥリー。and たまるトゥリー need also wine. So, so, it represent, Tamar Tri represent Krishna. Madabi Wine represent Radhika. To exchange love, we need two person. One person, we cannot exchange love. At least, We need two person. So sometimes, Radha Rani is very sad. This morning we are reading. Radha Rani become man, become angry. Without cause, sometimes with cause. And Radhika angry. Then Mohan Krishna try to pacify Radhika. Sometimes he could pacify, soothe. Sometimes cannot. Then Mohan could not meet Radhika because of her anger. So Mohan is very sad. He does not know what to do. Then he was thinking, okay, now I will take shelter, t u l a s i or Rupa, Manjari. Then these Manjaris help <laughs> Mohan could meet Radhika or Radhika could meet Mohan. So, we are in this material world. Generally speaking, material world is、uh, taking and, and giving. Usually, we, we beg something from God. Oh, my dear God, I am hungry. Please give me bread. Please give me rice. Oh God, my dear God, I'm very poor. Give me a lot of money. Oh God, I'm alone. I need wife. I need husband. Please bring it. Oh God, I don't have any job. So please give me job. So always we are asking from God or from somebody. Then God sometimes give us. Sometimes God does not give us. This treatment, this dealing called business treatment. グルデーブズワード、グルデーブセ、アマゾン。アマゾン、ウィオーダーズ、エンウィペイ。ウィペイ、ハンドレッドラーズ、ゼン、ハンダレ、ハンドレッドラーズ、アイテム、ウィキャンゲット。But if we don't pay it, we cannot get it. 
But this dealing is not so much pleasurable. It's not to give, give us treasure. Yeah. Oh. Guru Dev. Guru Dev? Huh? Wow, good oh, David. Okay. So this Amazon dealing is not to give us full satisfaction. God also doesn't like sometimes he feels, say, for example, if you are parents, children always coming, mother, father, give me hundred dollars. Give me thousand dollar because, you know, I need car. I need hundred thousand dollar. Hey, my mother, my papa, I need to buy house. Please give me million dollar. So always some children asking from parents. Sometimes Parents say, uh, you are asking, always asking, why don't you give me something? So parents sometimes feel it. God also sometimes feeling, oh, this person always begging, designed to take something from me. So sometimes go to see, oh, is there somebody who can give me something that's great with love? So this give, this giving taking, especially in Brindaban, Braja, Braja, Brajabashi, they don't, they don't think. Krishna is God. Krishna is my son. Therefore, I, I must feed him. Krishna is my friend. I have to pray with him. Hey, Krishna, please take my food. This is very tasty. <laughs> then Krishna, Give, you know, Krishna feel much pleasure because Brajabashi did not ask anything from Krishna, generally speaking. Especially gopis, especially Radhika, Srimati Radharani. She want to fulfill all Krishna's desires. And without taking anything, just giving, giving, giving love. So this is nature of Brindavan. And this loving exchange give us so much pleasure to Krishna, God himself. Hey, according to Chaitanya Charita Murita, Kabiraj Goswami say, I was, I was preaching, I gave by the bhakti, which is always Respect God with awe and reverence. Like Amazon style. There is no intimate relationship. And then God, uh, Krishna was thinking, Oh, time is coming. Time came, comes. I have to, I must give another bhakti. Laga Bhakti, I, I should give it. All devotee in this Kali Yuga. So, 
not only Raga Bhakti, Mahaprabhu want to give us highest Bhakti. It is called Babo Ura Sarati, which Radhika's maid servant very much ecstatic feeling with Radhika. So Krishna was wondering after Brinda Bandira. Krishna has everything. Krishna is supposed to know everything. But Krishna could not understand three things. Why Radhika loves me so much? What is the glory of Srimati Radharani's love? And what kind of quality, what kind of beauty we have, I don't know myself. I wish to taste feelings of love which Radhika is tasting. I want to taste that love Radhika's tasting. So Krishna was so much greedy. Okay, I will taste this feeling. I would like, uh, I would like to understand and feel it and taste it. So Krishna become Mahaprabhu and Krishna steals Radharani's Kanti bodily color and Radharani's Baba feeling. And Krishna becomes sandwich and to be, to be, and then became Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then Mahaprabhu's pastime, he taste Radharani's love. He understand glory of love. He understand Krishna's attribute. He taste Radhika's feeling. Then, after that, Mahaprabhu thinking, oh, I want to taste another highest feeling, which called Babo Ura Sarati. That Radhika's maid servant is tasting Radhika's feeling and Mohan's feeling, especially Radhika's feeling. So Radhika's feeling and Manjari's feeling, which is higher? Of course, both is very great. Sometimes Pabupada explain. So we have Manjari. We have Torasi Manjari, Torasi flower. Flower is from, what do you say, bloom from, from down to up, slowly, slowly. Upper side, bud, called manjari. Not open flower. That flower is saying, like gopi and say, saki. And manjari is bud, not mature enough. If Bamboo B comes and B took honey from flower. 
At that time, Torashi Manjari was trembling. Like this. And Furawa also feeling ecstasy. But, but is more feeling. So this is Manjari's feeling. Sometimes described hundred times more than this gopi or saki's feeling. Sometimes more described. Anyway, Mahaprabhu tastes Radharani's feeling. After that, Mahaprabhu want to taste Radhika's maid servant's feeling. And this feeling is actually more urasa, more, more higher taste. Therefore, Rupa Goswami say, this is called babo urasa. Urasa is like a more, you know, more high taste, more kind of increasing. Then Mahaprabhu thinking, wow. This is so good taste. This Radha Mohan's love exchange, this feeling, that Manjari tasting that feeling is so great. I cannot keep it by myself. I want to distribute this feeling to all Condition soul in Kali Yuga, in this Kali Yuga. So then Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu become gardener. There is a bhakti tree there. In this tree, all fruits, fruits of prema is ripened. Mahaprabhu took this fruit as gardener. Then he was full of fruits. I cannot eat by myself. Please come, please take. I don't charge anything free. But I only one condition. I want this. Because if we want to distribute something, somebody say, no, I don't need, I don't need. Then he cannot get. Only qualification is greed. I wish to have it. So this is mercy of Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Goranga Mahaprabhu. And uh, for us, for me, we are practicing this Bhaiti Bhakti, like uh, kind of, say, Amazon type, some kind of Amazon type of Bhakti. We are behave like devotee. But inside, we want to have something. Oh, I want to have salvation. I want to free from anxiety. I want to free from suffering. I want to free from birth and death, etc. But slowly, slowly, we are understanding. Actually, this is not the fruit of bhakti. Bhakti is loving action. Bhakti means need loving feeling. Loving feeling exchange. Exchange loving feeling. So slowly, slowly, someone who is fortunate, fortunate devotee, 
want more personal relationship with Ishita Deva or Ishita Devi. I need personal dealing, personal relationship with Krishna, with Radhika. And then, slowly, slowly, that devotee could taste the nectar of bhakti. This is natural feeling. And Pabupada word, we are not normal. Therefore, we could not feel so much. But if we are under influence of Fradini Shakti, pleasure giving potency, if we are in influence pleasure giving potency, then we could feel this loving exchange of Radha and Mohan as our Swarupa Besh. This is normal condition of living entity. So slowly, slowly, if we are sincere, Radha Rani give us slowly, slowly taste. It is called Ruchi. Taste. And this taste increasing, then it is called A Sakti. Then from Ruchi A Sakti, then feeling, we called Lati or Baba. Spiritual feeling of love. Some say this lati is, is kind of beginning of love. Like I say, one, one girl and the boy meet together. At first, some attraction is there. Oh, maybe I like this boy. Yeah, maybe I like this girl. This kind of feeling is coming. This is like Rati. And this feeling is increasing. Then become prema. Spiritual loving feeling. And this spiritual loving feeling increasing. The sneha is coming. Sneha is like melting the heart. Yesterday, we went to one program. Uh, one, one sadhu's disappearance there, Fakir Mohan Maharaj's disappearance there. So we went to Brinda Kunj. At that time, uh, some of devotees, sannyasis glorify this Fakir Mohan Maharaj. Then, in my tune, I come to, in my turn, to speak. This, this program is very, for say, very tight. Not enough feeling there. Because many devotees talking only Krishna. Radhika's name is very, very few. So, I ask them, we want to offer one kirta. Could you bring harmonium? 
Then devotee brought harmonium. Then I asked Ma Bhakti Himagiri. And their devotee chant, sing, Radha's name, and Maha Mantra. Then, you know, many good harmony is, is allies, many good feelings allies. At that time, interesting, dog start chanting, same tune. Of course, you know, dog cannot uh, pronounce clearly Hare Krishna, but uh, we could see Goto is chanting. No, dog is chanting. And then dog start to fail down. And rolling on the ground. Like showing the symptom of ecstasy. Many devotees watching this scene. Really, really amazing. Like a Mahaprabhu walking in Jarikanda forest. At that time, lion, tiger, elephant, all animals start dancing and chanting Hare Krishna. So very like similar thing, we could sing it. At, at this place, I guess most of devotees practicing by the bhakti. The world is very philosophical. I felt, oh my God, I become so dull. I'm so ignorant. Now I cannot chant, repeat shuroka. I don't remember. I cannot talk. Many sannyasi is singing so much shuroka, but I, I, I don't know shuroka. So, but uh, we are chanting. Then, say 80% devotee was standing up and dancing. So this is the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Even now, Mahaprabhu's movement, Mahaprabhu's mercy, Nita's mercy, going through, uh, come down from through Guru Parampara. So we felt this Brindaban, we can feel this, uh, the spiritual loving feeling. So this Guru Dev describes what is the root of love. Root of love is called uh, Root of love is Radharani. Because Radharani is Pradini Shakti Swarupini. Radharani is personification of this Pradini Shakti. Pleasure giving potency. Even in this material world, Whatever we feel love coming from our Shri Mate Radharani. 
So therefore, best way to get to love is to take shelter, the root, the take shelter of the lotus feet of Shurimate Radharani. Or, Shurimate Radharani's very dear maid servant, servants, called Manjari. Our Guru Parampara, Acharya, Acharyas, almost all Manjari. So if we take shelter of this Guru Manjari, Guru Dev, we take shelter of our Swamini, Shurimate Radharani. And slowly, slowly, we can taste not only Braja Baba, we can taste this highest feeling, Babo Urasa Lati. So today is, uh, uh, in Munger Raj Mandir, after class, we have, uh, uh, Sharat Purunima, a festival. And, uh, so today is a very auspicious day. So this Guru Dev is sharing very sweet and feeling and take shelter of this root of love. So today we don't have so not so much time. So if you could share our Gora Chandra or Anybody? It will be very, very grateful. Jai Radhe Maharaj, Dhanavad. Dhanavad. <coughs> My God, you explain all philosophy, Gorya Siddhanta in just five minutes, <laughs> from A to Z, very nice and very sweet. Thank you. Yeah, what I can say? I was fortunate that I could meet Fakir Mohan two times. Wow. So if you could, could you share your, your, your feeling experience with Fakir Mohan? Mm. One time in the ashram of Krishna Chandra in Switzerland, in the mountains, Ananda Dam. Yeah, Fakir Mohan, that time, maybe 10 years ago, he was already a very old man. And Fakir is actually is a Muslim name. No? Mm. Fakir Mohan. And uh, my experience is he is the only person in my life where I never could see any mistake. No ego at all. Sometimes we also see other sadhus. We may think, ah, there is some flaw in the character or behavior, some, but he, even if I'm searching for something, I could not see any mistake. So humble, so sweet, so soft mood, never asking for something, very difficult to do some small service for him. 
very difficult in the mountains ne, to go to the helicopter place and then go down to the ashram. He was so embarrassed that devotees took him by the arms and helped him to go down. Like he was feeling, oh, I'm create problem for everyone like this. No? Very, very sweet. If you are in such association, automatically your own heart is melting. You, you become also like, like a mother. You, and he is like a child. You want to take care of him no? naturally, not because it's the etiquette or something. No? It's naturally flowing. His sweetness so amazing and no false ego at all. And I think he also did this great service taking care of the deities from Gora Govinda Maharaj, Gopal Juna, or in that place the deities was for some time. And originally they are the deities from Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Right, Jayananda Maharaj? Yes, Radha Madhava. He found out Radha Madhava deity. Ah, yes. So. Yeah, amazing. I feel very blessed now nah, to get the association of so great Vaishnava. And I want, maybe I want to share about Mahaprabhu. He tasted this Bhavu Las Rati and he thinking that I cannot keep for myself. If you get something very precious, very tasteful, you yeah, want to share that also. He want to distribute for free. And this is also the nature of, of service, of bhakti, that we don't keep for ourselves. If we want to get the mercy of Mahaprabhu, how to make Mahaprabhu happy, also to share the great gift that we got to share with others. That is the movement and the desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He distribute the prem through all the acharyas and the parampara and through everyone who share this. So you can think that we are also part of the Gora Leela. It is happening now. Mahaprabhu say, Next 10,000 years, in every town, every village, people will chant Maha Mantra. This is his prediction, this is his desire. It will happen. Mm. <laughs> and we can be part of that also. We are all part of the Gora Lila. It just started. So I'm thinking uh, wow. before I come to Tamba, mm -hmm. never before someone chanted Maha Mantra in this area. 
Yeah. We never been honestly. You know, we, we did、uh, so much book distribution, but、uh, as far as I know, we never went to Tamba.、Yeah. So you are fast,、yeah. fast person. <laughs> <laughs> Not speaking about me, I want to say all the devotees na, living in somewhere in small village or na, they're chanting and never happened before in their village or in their small town or something. Na. Yes. So it's growing in, ho- in the whole world. More devotees are chanting here and there. So that is.、Uh, <clears throat> Very beautiful thing to realize that we are part of the Gora Leela. Yes. We are only six or I don't know, seven, eight generations after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It's great. Gora Leela happening now. Jai Rabe. I want to little bit to share in this a few days happening. Is it, if you could allow me to say. And uh, so, uh, I think two days ago, we went to Sandipani Muni's school with Ma Bhakti Himagri group. And then, uh, one, All the, all the devotee, lady devotees, Mataji, explain very nicely and how that school started. <laughs> This school was open, Rupa Ragnata Pabu. And I know him. I don't know so much closely friend, but I know him maybe 25 years, or maybe more. Because I have a friend of Kuruma Rupa Pabu. I don't know, Gora Chandra, you know Kuruma Rupa Pabu. Yeah, I knew him. So Kuruma Rupa Pabu, I met him maybe 1990 or 1991 in Singapore. Because I was traveling at that time in, in Asia. It happened to meet Kurmaru Papa, who is a Pabupa disciple. And we become friend. And he invited me to Jayananda come to Brindavan, come to my place. And then I went. At that time, he introduced me, uh, Rupa Ragnata Papa also. And also, I have another senior devotee's friend. It name is、uh, Radapati Pabu. When I was in Los Angeles, 89, 1989, 1990, 1990, t e was taking care of me very nicely. Every evening we meet and we did Harikata. 1981, 1990. So he moved in Brindavan. And this Radhapati Pabu helping this Rupa Ragnata Pabu and、uh, uh, Kuruma Rupa Pabu. <laughs> so, but、uh, Kuruma Rupa Pabu left his body, I think, 2015. And、uh, Radhapati Pabu left his body 2013. So they all, they two great devotee left body in Brindaban. So I'm very fortunate to went to his, their samadhis near Sandipani Muni school. So I was so much, you know,、uh, impressed and、uh, I could not visit them, you know, after a long time. I pay obeisance, I beg their mercy. So then, 
I want to say this one. Most pro probably, they are great devotee, but I feel they don't, they don't, probably they don't know, they don't practice this verb of rasarati. Because I was talking and I feel it. If I'm wrong, please forgive, forgive me. Because most of ISKCON devotees, they don't have any idea of Swarupa. So, therefore, I felt we are so fortunate to have such great Vaishnava association like Sadhu Maharaj. You may, maybe Gora Chandra understand, but uh, many new devotees may not understand Sadhu Maharaj just natural, or, you know, because they don't, they know only Sadhu Maharaj. But I'm seeing this nearly 37 years, 80 years, I am seeing so many Sadhu, so many Guru, so many Vaishnavas. Thousand Vaishnava maybe I met or maybe more. Ten thousand Vaishnava I may met. I'm telling you, some Juan talk this Babo Urasarati. It's very, 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 very rare. In Iskon time, I met Gora Govinda Swami Maharaj. At that time, he's highest Rashika Vaishnava in Iskon. His, his kata is so sweet. But I remember he could not say anything how to practice. Or maybe anything, maybe I cannot say. He may not, very small thing, how to practice Babo Urasarati. Honestly speaking, I'm listening hundreds of his class. And I was ISKCON time 1990s. At that time, one Goswami, Tamar Krishna Goswami explained little bit, uh, uh, you know, Br Brindava Mahima Murita. And uh, I did not hear directly. I, I heard his, his tapes. At that time, I could not attend directly. And uh, he was saying to become Manjari, we need how to decorate Radharani. How to, how to put, you know, art, decoration, how to, how to, you know, base, you know, all in detail we need, he said to me, to us. But we don't know what kind of information, where we can get it. Who can we learn? I'm not so fortunate. I went to Naren Maharaj, but uh, I'm not so much fortunate. I could not get to very close relations with Naren Maharaj. But uh, he also limited because he was lying of new Sampradaya, not the traditional Sampradaya. So, and we are very, I feel we are very fortunate to, 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 to have this, this Sampradaya. We get association with Radha Govinda's, Babaji Maharaj's kind of, uh, paribar, like Radha Govinda's Maharaj's shelter through our dear Sadhu Maharaj. Because, you know, 
I'm visiting some place and then now I feel some vibration, it vibe is different. Even in Brindaban. And now we are uh, hearing almost every day Birapax Manjari. Oh my God, this is a fat great fortune we have. Early 1990, at that time, Nara Maharaj talked Birapax Manjari. But directly, I could not hear my bad fortune. And we got a you know, copy of Birapak Manjari at that time. One devotee was transcript, some devotee transcripting. 1990, maybe around the middle of 1990, I guess. And then we took this book. We tried to read. But at that time, I'm so neophyte. I could not go. We cannot, I cannot get in deep, you know. So, sorry, this personal experience. This, this actually, some devotee may think, oh, every day hearing this internal class and sharing, and hearing Birapax Manjari, this is ordinary. No, not at all ordinary. Yesterday, Chakshu, our dear friend, my dear friend Chakshu told me, one devotee, Iskon devotee, old devotee, happened to hear this international class. And then that devotee was surprising. Many devotees sharing their feeling. And he listened devotees sharing. If he completely stand. Oh my God. They are sharing so high subject. And, uh, Chuck should say, so uh, this is really that that old devotee was so stunned and uh, astonishing. This kind of sharing does not happen as a sanghas. Honestly, I say, probably as a sangha, difficult to get with this association. Probably Iskon Godea Mata may not this association. Honestly, I'm saying. So this Chuck saying many de not many some devotee is appreciating this internal sangha. So this sangha is Guru Dev's mercy, Suniti Dev's mercy, as all Vaishnavas mercy. So this is quite you know not ordinary. And Gora Chandra say, Mahaprabhu's movement is still going on. I, 120%, I agree. Because Radha Govinda Das Bhavaji Maharaj told the Sadhu Maharaj, you go abroad, you will go abroad and spread this message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And then Sadhu Maharaj was doing for 20 years, about 20 years. And then, by the mercy of Radha Govindas Bhaj Maharaj and Sadhu Maharaj, we could do know this, this nectar kata and essence of Babo Urasara Rasa. This is, if Radha Govindas Bhaj did not order to Sadhu Maharaj. If Pahupada did not order, if did not give blessing to Sadhu Maharaj, or if Sadhu Maharaj did not go abroad, if Paramahita Maharaj did not bring him to go abroad, may not happen it. <laughs> so that means we are so much indebted 
as a previous acharyas. And then Mahaprabhu's movement is still going on. That's I also feeling. So we want to be small part of this movement. That is our humble desire. So sorry, I talk today too much. Rather challenging if you. I want to share more something. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Today, now newly married couples appear uh, in front please, of us. Please, please come. Huh? What happened? New new marriage. Jai O! This Uddhavdas and the Kunja Bihari. <laughs> You know, Ma Bhakti Kimagiri Guru. This is my brother, younger brother. Jai Udava San Ki Jai Ho. <laughs> Jai Ho. So, so this this devotee would have a Jai Odava, congratulations. This is the setting for you. Binding. Binding. So, Gorethanda, please continue sharing. Yes. Yeah, you are totally right. How you perceive the realization of this great devotees like Homa Rupa and others. He was very uh, devoted to the cow saver. No? Yes. He took care of the cows for ISKCON. Uh, how was the program? Care for cows? Yeah, some cow is car accident. Or sometimes, you know, people was beating cow. And sometimes leg broken, you know, some injured. So Kurumarupa Pabu, all cow who is roasted, and then he, he took one place and take care of whole life. Whole so this life. is great job for Kurumarupa Pabu. <laughs> he 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 take care hundreds cows. Oh my god. So sorry, I want to stay. So he was he, why he started. So now Kartik Brata start, Niyamaseba start. So Kurumarupa Pabu was thinking, oh, what can I do for, you know, my Seba in Niyamaseba? Then he coming, he's thinking, oh, let me serve cow every day. 
And then he was feeding cow every day. Then many cow is coming. Then after Kartik, okay, now Kartik finished. Still cow is every day is coming. So he cannot stop. He continuously serving, serving, and then he asked devotee to help. Then slowly, slowly he got round and he got facility, he got man. Yesterday, you know, two days ago, I met one devotee, Brajabasi, uh, Viveka Sharmaji. He's Brahman. Ha, you know, highest grade Brahman become, you know, taking care of cow. And I talked, he know Kurumarupa, he took care of Kurumarupa Pabu, last stage of life. So, sorry, Gorachandra, you know, like this. No, no, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I listen, he even take a vrata that he will never reject one cow. <laughs> yeah. And by his devotion, people started helping him start collecting money in other countries. No? There's one devotee in Switzerland, Ananda Dam. The Rishi, he also lives a little more upstairs. He was very close friend with Komarupa, always helping him with the cows. Also in Kiki Nagla, there's also one cow protection thing. Yeah, we went to Kiki Nagala. So, yes, I mean, we are talking about what they practice, Bavolas Rati. There, this type of devotee is a hundred times more qualified than me by his devotion. I see him also because one close friend from ISKCON, he also had connection with Koma Rupa and we stay near his place where he take the cows. And I see him every morning, 4 a.m., going to the cows, cleaning everything. The cows, <laughs> maybe there was 200 cows, but only three liter milk coming from them. <laughs> you know? yeah. So much devotion. He surrendered his life for the service. Amazing. He get full mercy of the Krishna. Eh? Yes. <laughs> so much. Krishna so grateful to him. Radharani so grateful to him. Taking care of the cows. Dham Seva. But no idea of spiritual body of Swarupa, of, of Ishtadeva, of my specific relationship that I have. So everything staying on the level of Saraka Deha, na, I'm serving na, with my body, mind, and working hard. So I also thinking like that, oh my God. But Somehow we got lucky. Mercy came to us that we got association of Rasika Vaishnava. I don't know how this can happen to me and not to Komarupa. Unconditional love. But Radharani also will take care of Komarupa. Ah. So much Sukriti coming, so much Sukriti coming. They will also meet Rasik Vaishnava. Continue with that. And yes, it's extraordinary that we can listen this kind of kata. I also realized that after some time now. I also listen many lectures of Gora Govinda. 
Sometimes he speaks Radharani na, about the slokas. Na? But mostly he is speaking about Krishna. Very sweet. <laughs> and he is always in Bhav. Na? <laughs> always speaking in Bhav. Gora Govinda Maharaj. Narayan Maharaj, he speaks Vilab Kusha Manjali before he becomes famous. In his Mat and Mathura, when some devotee is asking him, na, small circle, but when he becomes big guru all over the world with tens of thousands of devotees, he not speak like that. Because audience is not ready for that. <laughs> Prabhupada could not speak because audience not ready for that. So, I don't know why Gurudev speaking to us. <laughs> is the meaning that we are ready for that? <laughs> I, I don't know. Ahai to Kikuripa. Mike, Mike. I think ahai to kikuripa. Yeah, I also you know think. without without cause, but some good fortune come upon us. Yeah. I think you are ready, and you inspired me to become ready. That is the special mercy. No, 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 Gurudev, you know. Jai Gurudev. Is, Jai Gurudev. Because, you know, Gurudev is very, always Gurudev, you know, stay in humble position. Because Gurudev never say, I'm Guru. I'm student. I am servant of my Gurudev. Or servant of servant of my Gurudev. So this is Gurudev's, you know, uh, very, very typical humble position. But we, 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 we should not think like this. We, this is the position. Yeah, but this we the... feel good day is, you know. <laughs> dashi position. Good, yes, good day is rather dashi is representative. So we, we, we feel it dashi and good day no. give us mass. <laughs> Darcy has no position. Yes. Darcy is yes. Lowest, no? Lowest. Dasan, 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 Dasan. Jai Ho. So, you will pass and I relish that. I have to be in Bhavala's position. We also try to, you know, we also try to follow Guru Dev's footstep. Try to be Babu Rasati. <laughs> it's not so easy, but uh, by good fortune, we may have it. By the mercy of Rashka Vaishnava, we may have it. I think also it's like cooperation of all the great Vaishnavas. Like they working together. One day, one time also Gurudev, he shared that he was driving 800 kilometers in Europe from Bulgaria to Netherlands or something, only to see Narayan Maharaj. Wow, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And Narayan Maharaj also give blessings to Gurudev. Wherever you go, people, they will feel the prema. So Prabhupada doing and he asking Narayan Maharaj, please continue my work. And Narayan Maharaj continue the work and Gurudev now continue the work. Like this, no? Slowly, slowly, we become more ready. And it's not only our part of the, of the branch of the tree of Mahaprabhu. No? Mm. This is all included. 
we have relation with Anandadas Babaji, with the Babaji line. Many devotees have background from ISKCON before, now connected with Gurudev. Narayan Maharaj also. Devotees from South America now connected with Gurudev before with um, their disciples of Paramatveti Maharaj. So it's not only no? include mm -hmm. everyone. And now Iskon devotee is coming and appreciate that so nice Katha is going on. No? Wow, so deep subject is sharing. So yeah. it will continue everywhere. One day, Guru Dev, I don't know how many years ago, maybe six, seven years ago, maybe eight years ago, Guru Dev told us, if you have, you know, friend, five friend, who is Rashka Vaishna, who is Siddha, then you become like Rashka Vaishna and Siddha. Five friend. <laughs> because, because, if we want to know somebody, we, we, we can see the friend. Then we can understand what kind of person he is or she is. So Gurudev once told, you know, this five friend of, like, kind of Siddha or, or Rashka Vaishnava. Then we become like, like them. And also this, my strong belief is like this. One day, Gora Govinda Swami Maharaj told us, 1996 Prema Yuga will start. This, I think, Kanu Priya Goswami, I think Kanu Priya Goswami is predict. And Gora Govinda Swami was telling us. Then at that time, uh, maybe 1993 or four, so we are wondering, what do you mean Prema Yuga start? We don't know. And then Gora Govinda Swami left to his body in 1996. We are completely shocked. Oh my God, Prema Yuga will start, but he's gone. What to, what happening next? Then later we found out Nara Maharaj start traveling around to 1996, or maybe five, six, and also our Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj started 1996 traveling. So then later on I found out, oh my God, what Gora Govinda Maharaj said to us is this is a proof. Lada Kata start at that moment mainly. You know, we are ISKCON at that time, we are suffering. Because if we talk Radha Kata in the temple, we are kicked out. Go out. Don't talk about Radha. You know, we are so sad. Why talking this authority? Why you are talking? We are thinking like this. But after 1996, Nara Maharaj start talking about Radha Kata openly. Slowly, slowly, our Sad Maharaj also talk Radha Kata. After Nara Maharaj, especially. Before Nara Maharaj, also after, after. So this is, I think, Prema Yuga's one symptom to Sadhu appear. Maybe also including Anandas Bhaj Maharaj. Or maybe as a, as a Baba. Rade, rade. Yeah. Radha Yuga start. <laughs> <laughs> Mahabhav Swarupini, Sri Radhika. Yeah. She is Prema personified. Yeah. And Radha Katha start all over the yes. world that time. Yes. So Prema Yuga Yuga means Radha Katha. <laughs> Radha Katha means Prema Yuga. Yes. Radha Yuga. <laughs> yes. Jai. Oh. 
now, so timing is coming. So, so thank you very much. <laughs>